another New York City vlog so I just finished up at the gym and I could not wait to get out of there honestly because I've been needing coffee so bad I did not have it early enough so I'm trying this really cute coffee shop in the West Village just walking over to a super cute coffee shop it's actually the smallest one in New York City but hopefully they're still efficient but I've seen it a lot on social media so super excited to try and on my walk over here, I realized that the summer streets was going on, so Park Avenue was closed down. So I totally want to go for a run there next week. So I'm right across the street from the shop, and there's actually a really long line. We'll see how it goes. had a classic iced latte with oat milk. I think they're most known for their caramel latte, but sometimes I don't like having a uh, drink that's too sweet. So I'll definitely have to try that one, but trying this one for now, they have to give you these big straws, so it like it's like a boba straw kind of. But anyway, let's try it. Love it. It's like Obviously, it's my classic order, so I knew I would probably like it, but it feels like cleaner and super good. So, we'll be back here. It's funny, everyone here is saying they saw this on TikTok or online or just like shot in the neighborhood and then saw it on TikTok, so it's really blowing up. Okay, so we're back at the apartment and I just curled my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. So, it's pretty curly right now. It's raining a bit so hopefully the humidity doesn't take it down but I was just opening my box from Newly where I rent my clothes every month so I was just going through it and trying stuff on and I'm kind of upset because I got this dress that I was gonna wear to the US Open it's really giving Morgan Riddle who is one of my favorite youtubers and she's dating Taylor Fritz the top tennis player and this is totally a dress you'd wear, but it's too big. So I was trying it on. I was like, I wish I got a smaller size in that. And then I got some other stuff just for fun to wear around the city. This is kind of like an Italy dress. I should have gotten it next month because the lemons are giving like a Malfi Coast because next month I'm going to Italy, but this is in this month's box. So I'll get like a whole new newly rental box and pick new things before the trip but like I don't know why I got this this time I guess it's fine because it's summery but um I'll be doing all everything for my trip that I rent next month will be that bad I got this dress I was thinking of wearing it to my cousin's engagement party I don't know it looks cute it just like is a little worn also like usually when you get a newly like half and half is new usually about half is new and still has tags on it and the other half has been rented before on average i got this dress or not dress oh my gosh i got this skirt from favorite daughter and it's super cute but a bit see-through so we'll have to be cognizant of that and i'm actually wearing a long skirt right now too but the other two things that i got are this dress that is a bit too big but I think it still could be fine just for like casual. I actually have another dress that's kind of a similar pattern to this that I'll probably take on the trip, but I don't know. Newly's really fun, but sometimes when it comes to like placing your order, I'm kind of like, oh my God, I need to place it now. And I just pick stuff that I've saved, but I'm really excited about this dress. It's mesh with a slip under it. So I think it's gonna be super fun. This is actually surprisingly one of my favorite things in this box. 
I did not expect that. I thought my favorite was gonna be the green dress, but it does not look good. I also don't like poofy things on myself, so I don't know why I keep picking that type of thing, but it's a cute dress, just it was too big and I don't like it on me. So <laughs> that's how newly went this month. I might make more content featuring these because I love posting about them and I love just like getting something new to wear each month. I've honestly been really lucky and most months everything in my box has fit and I've worn most of it especially like looking back at some of my trips earlier in the year they were like all newly like everything I wore was newly. So I'm going to meet up with Rose at Chelsea Market. I'm wearing just like this Aritzia fitted tank and a long skirt you can't really see but we saw this TikTok about these really cute charm necklaces that you can get there. So we're gonna get those. It is a super cute place to shop for different gifts and food. They have like all different vendors and stores and I haven't been in a while. So hopefully I find some cute stuff, especially I have a few like birthdays and things coming up. Anyway, just to catch you guys up, my biggest news is that I'm going to Italy in a month, so I'll hopefully be vlogging some of that. Expect a lot of exciting vlogs coming up because in a few weeks I'm going to a camp, yes that's true, a sleepaway camp in the Poconos, well only for a weekend, but it's Liv Schreiber who's an influencer and started a company Hot and Social to like meet different friends in the city is hosting a camp with a bunch of fun activities for 100 girls. So I'm hopefully gonna be vlogging that and super excited. And then after that, when I get back, I'm going to the US Open, hopefully going to see Morgan and Taylor. I am obsessed with them. I literally told my friends we have to go when Taylor Fritz is coming. And they said that you don't know who's playing until you're there. So we'll see about that, but that's my US Open goal. And then in the end of September, going into the first week of October, I'm going to Italy. I'll be in Tuscany, Florence, Rome, and Amalfi. So I'm so excited about that, and that's going to be the best content. I'm so excited to get just like a bunch of cute pics and videos and vlog there. And of course, like see a few friends. And I've never been to Italy before, so it'll be my first time in Italy, first time in all these places, and I have the best tour guide, so I'm excited for that, and can't believe it's coming up so soon, so stay tuned, stay tuned to my content for all of that. <laughs> because there were so many people signed up to make them and there was like a two hour wait even for the people that got on the line. So while we were there, we got to check out some of the charms and heard that they have another location that's less busy in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. So we're gonna check that one out and hoping it's like a bigger selection too because it's um, like a dedicated location instead of within Chelsea Market. So yesterday, Rose and I, as you saw in the clips, just hung out in Chelsea Market and then checked out the city vineyard. And so today, I'm wearing this dress. I'm thinking the top will be cute for like pictures with the necklace if we get them, which we hopefully will. And then it's from Newly. It's like a bit not fitting in the top, but I think it's fine for today. So this is the dress. And I'm gonna bring this straw bag. So, gonna head over, meet Rose, and ferry over.
influences I showed, I feel like I'm just becoming a jewelry influencer over here because that TikTok really is blowing up and I've heard so many people saying that they want to go to Brooklyn Charms. So if you go, show me what charms you got. It's so much fun and such a cute girl's day to go over and pick them out and just have a whole Brooklyn day. It also happens to be next to my favorite vegan pizza place, Screamers. So while we waited for our necklaces, we actually got pizza there. One of my friends recommended these Lemmy gummies. I've obviously seen them a lot online. So I just got Chill and Focus. I've heard great things about both of these. So I'm excited to try them. I don't know. We'll see if they work. They have just like natural ingredients. One of my friends really liked the Focus ones and I just feel like I generally like Chill um, but things like Kava. So I think I will like those. I have an exciting few weeks. I'm seeing my sister before she leaves for grad school in Germany and then I'm going to the camp weekend, and then the US Open, and then a few weeks after that, my Italy trip. So super exciting. Hopefully we'll have a lot of content from all of these things. And of course, a lot of content just home in New York City too. I'm multitasking, I don't know how many you're supposed to take, you're supposed to take two. So we'll see how this goes. My toxic trait is that I'm addicted to gummy vitamins and like, Fortunately for them, but not so fortunately for me, these taste really good. So whenever I would get like the gummy multivitamins, I would like always take too many because they were so good. Like they're literally better than any candy. If there was a candy that tasted like some of the vitamins I've taken before, it would be like the best one ever, but I've never found that. Nothing is as good as vitamins to me. I literally don't even know why. I just got to book club and every time I've come here lately, it's been so busy. There's been like no seats, which is like great for them, but it's really popping off even when they don't have an event. So I'm just sitting in the outside space. They actually had a table open in here, but there's actually a line and so many people checking on books. I tried to come last night too and it was way too busy as well. So it's really blowing up.